Mike Feld here for DetroitTitans.com. Big 1-0 win in overtime. The Titans knock off Oakland University. Head coach Mike Lupinak, Felicia Drayton, Marina Manzo here with me. Coach, let's start with you. Huge win over your rival. Can you kind of talk about, you know, staying persistent today? You had a couple of chances here. It got a little bit chippier in the second half, but you guys held on and attacked them very quickly in that, second, in that overtime period and were able to hold on for it. Yeah, I think, you know, today's game, it was like uh, momentum switches. I mean, the first uh, first half wasn't that sharp for us. Uh, you know, we had a couple people coming off injuries and that that were tired that we subbed out. You know, I held on in the first half. I felt that they uh, did a better job keeping the ball and creating some chances, but not chances that were dangerous, you know, shots from far out that aren't going to beat Marina anyway. So, you know, I was happy that we're going into halftime 0-0, but I knew that we could play better. And then we came out the first 20 minutes and created some chances. Felicia got more aggressive getting around the corner, set up Hannah there. Uh, we had a lot more corner kicks, you know, some close calls on that. And then finally I told the girls, you know, you know, that, uh, you know, before overtime that, uh, you know, you're either going to win this game or lose this game. And it's all about heart and fighting through the conditions. It was hot out here today and, you know, girls found a way and we're fortunate enough to get a victory out of it. But, uh, you know, our goal is to win the league. So it doesn't matter if it's Oakland or Green Bay or uh, Milwaukee. I mean, we're here to beat every team in the Horizon League. You mentioned about some of those conditions, too. It seemed like a lot of the falls were going against your way in that second half as they were in the first. I mean, do you say anything to your players at that point? Are you trying to keep them level-headed or just keep playing your game and hopefully it works out for you? No, I mean, we, t we tell them every time before the game starts that uh, giving teams set pieces, corners, and stuff like that, you can lose games on that. We're fortunate enough that our defenders and Marina do an excellent job in regards to Marina collects everything that goes in the air. So... You know, if they want to lock balls in the box, Marina usually is there for us, and our defenders do a good job marking up and uh, hitting them away. But, uh, you know, we, we definitely don't encourage it. I mean, but there's times where uh, you're going to get some calls go your way and calls that don't go your way, and you're going to just have to deal with it. Felicia, let me go to you. This is starting to become a little bit of a habit for you. Can you, can you kind of talk about what you saw out there in that goal? I mean, it was a beautiful pass by Anna there to set you up and kind of talk about what you saw and how you were able to finish it. Well, I knew that... Um, that it was important for me to take chances because I knew at halftime um, coach came to me and told me to you know really go and take that girl on and be more aggressive and I knew that from that that I really could take them on so I knew coming into this overtime that I had to be aggressive and even though I'm tired get up there and on the finish I in the last couple games I've had chances and I've kind of rushed it and so this time I made sure I focused that I took an extra touch and thought about what I was doing before I, I t kicked it in it and it went in. <laughs> You mentioned about, you know, when you're tired and being a little bit more aggressive. It seems like in the second half of the season, you've really come on to your own and, you know, you're flying the balls a little bit more and you've been able to create some of these chances. I mean, is that conditioning? Is that just seeing the field better? What's it been like for you in the second half of the season? I think it's just um, a combination of your team um, having faith in you and encouraging you that you can do it even when times get rough. And with that, it encourages you to go on and be more aggressive and when you're more aggressive and you get better chances you feel like okay I can take more chances myself and that again when those players depend on you that you know you have to step it up and you can't just sit back. Marina huge game for you too going up there against a tough opponent they were coming at you in every direction how were you able to preserve their shutout today I'm sure more importantly the win but how are you able to keep your uh, slate clean today? Um, my biggest thing is being fearless I mean there's no reason they're human beings there's no reason why I should back off and not play my game. You know, because if the ball's in the air, it's my ball. Like, there's nothing stopping me. I'm the one that can get the ball. I'm the one that can do all of it. I can hit cold in my hands. So I'd rather have the ball in my hands and have it bouncing around everywhere. So, I mean, even if I get hit, you know, I would rather be fearless and get the ball and save my team than, you know, let it go and let somebody else deal with it. You talk about being fearless now. I mean, you guys are playing great going on the stretch here. Now, what's going to be the key for you guys in the final two games trying to win the league here? I think just really, you know, staying composed, you know, knowing how to play our game and not letting, you know, a ref calls a bad foul or, you know, one of us makes a mistake. Let, let us just stay, like, level-headed and just play the way we know how to play because we do know how to play, you know. And it's we just really need to calm down and just focus, and it'll come. It'll come. Titans win once again, 1-0 over Oakland University. For DetroitTitans.com, I'm Mike Feld.